I have been married for 51 years. Got two sons, 42 and 40. Them deadbeats. I'm still supporting the little boogers. Needed to take a test to see if any of us had a kidney good enough for my brother. Found out something interesting. They ain't my kids. There's somebody else's. <laughs> of course, the only good thing is, I know it's not my fault that those two idiots got dumped into this world. Hell, I thought they took after their mother. Instead, they take after the plumber or the postman or the milkman. Or Yeah, they were milkmen back when they came around. I mean, God only knows. <laughs> it sure gets old. I do wish I knew who the real fathers were. And they ain't the same. She was bopping a couple of different guys. But if I could figure out who they were, I've been practicing law, law long enough that I pretty well figure I could sue their ass and get all my money back that I sunk into those two dead meat. It just chaps my ass that she couldn't tell me. I'd probably forgiven her. Maybe not. You know how it is. Hell, yeah, boys, y'all need to go get your own paternity test. You can't tell how, by looking who's the daddy unless you're looking down at the genetic level. I've been in court thousands of times in paternity suits. And four out of five times, guy says he ain't the daddy, he's right. And the genetic test is the only way to prove it for sure. These women are hopping everything that looks fun. You thought you liked sex. <laughs> you ain't nothing. Well, I, I guess that pretty well completes that story. I'll go home, start drafting up some divorce papers, see if I can't get free of that crazy bitch. I mean, I stayed with her for the sake of the children and the grandchildren, and now the great-grandchildren. But they ain't no kin of mine. Fuck them. <laughs>